This hour, a Fox News exclusive, Inside the High Court. At what point does this get real to you? With the man atop Trump's list. I have two rules. If you follow him, we're going to be just fine. Stories you haven't heard. And he said, this school's such a guy. As soon as he gets there, he'll change. And a warning for the country. There's a reason why democracies haven't always succeeded in history. Neil Gorsuch, Justice for the Republic. From Washington, Shannon Bream. The Supreme Court, for millions of voters, it was the deciding issue of the 2016 election. And soon after taking office, President Trump nominated Neil Gorsuch to be one of the nine justices who serve in this building. This hour, the first television interview with Gorsuch since he joined the nation's high courts, a revealing conversation about his life, his philosophy, and his new book, A Republic, If You Can Keep It. But we start far away from here in Gorsuch's home state of Colorado with quite a story about his nomination. So two young men were sent out from Washington to collect me and my wife uh, for the announcement. And they showed up on a a Sunday evening, I think, and I was out mowing the lawn and Louise invited them to stay for supper. So they did, and then they went off to a motel for the evening to come get us the next morning. It was supposed to be hush-hush. President, though, that morning at 8 a.m. tweeted, announcement tomorrow night at 8. And at that point, it seemed like every media truck in America descended upon the potential nominees' homes. And we had a crew outside our single road out to the main highway, uh, camped out. I mean, they had lawn chairs and vans and the, the works. We come prepared. You came prepared. Yeah. Prepared. The two guys from Washington did not. And they realized they couldn't get in. They're in their suits mm-hmm. and in a re- rented car. And they realized they couldn't, there's no way they can get in. So they went to Walmart and got some duds that they thought might be more natural for the countryside, but still felt like they were going to get caught. So they called, called us up and said, would you mind hiking out? There's a trailhead a mile away, and we'll pick you up there. Well, my wife's roller bag would not, <laughs> not going not to make it through that hike. So I said, guys, no, I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I'm not going to do that. My neighbor said, Neil, I grew up in Iran during the revolution. And I would never buy a house where there's only one escape route. See that horse track? I've driven it. The Gorsuch's neighbor turned getaway driver, however, told Louise Gorsuch that he needed time to get ready. He said, I have to shower and change, which is really random if you think about it, because what's your getaway outfit? Because, you know, the whole point is not to be seen. Right. right. So what you wear is really not what's relevant. (laughs) But but the last laugh's on me, because the person who should have showered and changed didn't. And that was actually me because I had been in a barn all morning and I'd been mucking out and doing all the chores. And I, I kind of thought of everything but that. And so we went out by way of a bumpy horse track a couple of miles to the countryside and met up with the kids from the East Coast to make it to Washington. We flew into D.C. and we arrived. You're two hours ahead. And we arrived to a dinner party. Mm. And I walked in and I suddenly had this moment of self-awareness, like the emperor's new clothes that I'm still wearing. I'm still wearing all the same clothes from the that barn. I mocked out in, mm-hmm. in the barn that morning. It's a great story. He calls it escape from Lookout Ridge. <laughs> Did you ever imagine all those years ago when you met your husband, that you would end up in this kind of moment in history, this place? No, no, absolutely, absolutely not. Are you kidding? Few could have foreseen the chain of events that would end in Neil Gorsuch sitting on the Supreme Court. This is a Fox News alert. We're continuing our Fox News special coverage of the death of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. The first was the sudden passing of a man Neil Gorsuch admired greatly. He came here fishing with you. Well, Justice Scalia and I had agreed on an awful lot of things, and I admire him greatly. And he was an enthusiastic fly fisher, but we did not see eye to eye exactly on how to present a fly to a trout. I would say, Mr. Justice, uh, see that rock over there? I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lunker hiding behind it. I, I know this stream like the back of my hand. And I'd say, if you could just wade over there a little bit, drop the fly down, you're going to catch a fish. Well, he would, he would stomp over there, slap the line on the water as hard as he could, as if the harder he cast, the more the fish would like the presentation. And then he'd look at me and he'd say, Neil, you told me there was a fish there. There had been. For a quarter century, Scalia had been the leader of a slim conservative majority on the Supreme Court. If President Obama got to pick his replacement, that would be gone. Obama, 
Gorsuch's Harvard classmate, by the way, nominated Merrick Garland. But only after Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell declared he'd keep the seat open until after the election. And so the court became one of the campaign's most pressing issues. And you know how I know that Donald's Supreme Court justices will be liberals? Because his know. entire life he supported liberals. To assuage those doubts, Trump consulted with conservative legal experts and issued a list of the sort of justices he would nominate. Let the record show it didn't include 10th Circuit Court of Appeals judge Neil Gorsuch. I remember very clearly sitting in the summer of 2016 with a friend at lunch. And he said, oh, it's such a pity your name's not, not on, on this list. And I said, oh, gosh, don't. I'm so happy in Colorado. Leave me alone. I'm fine. And we got up from lunch, and then my phone buzzed, and it was a text from him saying, you're, you're on a new list. I had no idea that there was going to be a second list, and I did not know my name would be on it. I called him, and he said, so, what do you think? Should I, should I go for this? Former Colorado Supreme Court Justice Rebecca Corliss has been a friend of Gorsuch for decades. In fact, her dad taught him how to fish said I'm worried about the confirmation process itself is going to be very difficult and I don't know what that's going to do to me or my family. My response to him was that if he could get his girls and Louise on board that I thought it would be an enormous service to the nation. Of course, the point was moot if Trump didn't beat Hillary Clinton and everyone knew that couldn't happen, but then it did. I love this country. Overnight, Neil Gorsuch became a man who might make history, but only if the new president decided he was the real deal. And he said, oh, no, 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 it's not you. I, I hate to disappoint you. You know Trump, double blind bluff. <laughs>